So a client project I completed last year involved setting up a custom post type and it involved listing out all the various different types of tours that they offered. So in order to streamline the processes within the website, I integrated those custom post type names onto the Gravity Forms drop-down field so that anytime we added a new tour, it was automatically added to their inquiry form as a selection. Now, of course, that's just my certain use case that I needed for my client, but today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to set this up and utilize it for your own project. All right, so on my dummy site here, I've got a custom post I've set up with different event listings, right? So um, the names of these events are just the title of these fake artists. Um, and what I wanna do is create a drop-down field on the contact form um, as an example, right? So if we say contact and we're gonna create a drop-down form to say select the event you're interested in. And what we want to happen there is the listing of these events is automatically populated in that drop-down field to choose from. However, we don't wanna to continue to manually add these events both as a custom post type and to the drop down every time. So if we could streamline that and, and integrate it so that every time we add the custom post type, the drop down field in Gravity Forms is automatically updated, that saves us a ton of time. So let's go ahead and dive into the first step. Now, first, I will say uh, Gravity Forms has a great documentation page all about how to achieve this, and I will include this link as well as the code I used in the demo today in the description of the video. So what we need to do first is jump into the contact form and we're gonna go ahead and add that drop-down field. We can name this field, um, let's say, select the event you're interested in, right? And then the listings are going to be those custom post type names. So. What we need to do first though is go into appearance on that dropdown field and add a CSS class because we're gonna to call to this in the PHP code. So here we're gonna say event dropdown, um, all one word. Go ahead, save this form. And next we're going to jump into the appearance theme file editor. Now I always recommend especially in this case to utilize a child theme um, so that any changes you make here are, won't affect the main theme and are more safe for updates. All right, so we'll push this on down and I'm gonna go ahead and paste in the final code here and I'll walk you through it and update it for our parameters. All right, so here the code is in. Now first, you'll notice G form pre-render one, G form pre-validation one, all of these have a one at the end. The one is going to be the ID of your form. And if you're unsure about what your ID of your form is, you can open up your gravity forms and underneath the main forms page, ID shows one. So update that if your form ID is any different, um, specific to the ID of the form that you're updating the group dropdown field. All right, next, this is telling us the field type is the select field, which is also known as the dropdown field. Um, and then right here, it shows field CSS class, and we need to insert our CSS class. So we're gonna say events dropdown. I think it was events, let's just double check. It was event. Yep, see, thought I had it right. All right, event dropdown. And then this next line here is going to tell us, or tell it to get the post. So the post type equal and CPT, this is custom post type. We need to list out the name of our custom post type. So if we come into ACF and we go to post types and we go to live music, this is the custom post type we have listing our events. Um, post type key is right here, live dash music. So we're going to go ahead and paste that in. And then we've got and number of posts is minus one. That indicates to collect all posts and as long as they are published. The next is just listing out. We want it to show the text of the post titles. 
um, and then a placeholder. Oop, this goes a little messed up. Uh, so before someone actually chooses an event, we'll want to, we can show them a placeholder um, until they do. So you can put whatever you want here. You can say choose one, select an event, um, whatever it might be that suits you know your form and, and your drop down. So we'll go ahead and click update and we can go ahead we save this form we can come to the website once again on the front end and we'll view so just so you can see we got Josh Joshua we got Tina Turner we got Molly Jojo Eminem um, all these different artists right so if we come to the contact form and select the event you're interested in it says choose one right that is the text we inserted and we select it and there you go that we have all our full lineup of events from our custom post type we never entered these manually it was automatically pulled in so um, we can go ahead and test this by going to live music we'll say add new live music we'll insert um, new event here so we, we can recognize it choose any date hit publish all right now refresh our contact page and there you have it new event here our drop down is automatically populating so this is just one of many use cases that you can utilize the setup to populate a gravity forms drop down field from a custom post type if you have something where it's maybe five or less drop downs and they're going to be static of course this probably isn't the best solution for you ongoing but if you've got 10 plus posts uh, and they're ever changing and evolving and always being updated um, this is the perfect use case for you to save a ton of time in the long run and really very minimal setup on the front end thanks a lot for watching we'll see you next time